Hello, hi, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a nice night, morning, afternoon, wherever you're at in part of the country that you are in. This is a serious warning. As you know, Halloween is approaching, but I don't want you just to actually focus on that day. I want you to focus on the whole month. The enemy is very cunning and, and, he, and he's very slick. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Today, or I may mean, I say yesterday where a lot of people are, October the 4th was the holiest day unto the Lord. So what he tries to do, he tries to imitate God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So this month is going to be high spiritual warfare like you've never seen throughout the, all of the year. I'm not kidding. Because this is the time where they're going to do their rituals, their sacrifices, and I'm not kidding. People are going to be disappearing, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Babies going to be disappearing. Children, come on, somebody, watch the news. I understand what I'm saying. People are going to start missing, disappearing. Come on, somebody, mostly virgins. Y'all better listen to what I am saying. Because I'm going to tell you what thus said the Lord, and this is a Thus said the Lord. A lot of you, especially you leaders, oh God gonna get you. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You, you have you have done what the enemy wanted you to do. You got the masses so distorted in the spirit that they can't see in the spiritual realm because you got them with entertainment. Come on, somebody, you got them going after money. Come on, somebody. Things of the world to where they're tainted. They don't have no power. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And the enemy knows that. That's why he's doing things in this season. It's high treason. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because he said the church ain't got no power, right? Not only a few people. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all know it. Let's just be honest. People can teach and preach the word. Y'all have intelligence, but no anointing. Come on, somebody, don't get mad at me. I'm not the one that sold my soul. I'm not the one that went after money, fame. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Now you ain't got no power to carry the body of Christ through this season. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So now I'm telling you, you're going to have to pray more, saints. There was a book that I told my class tonight, and God told me to also tell you all. It was a book called by Frank E. Peretti. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Frank E. Peretti, that man is a mastermind. God made him to see into the spiritual room like never before. Before there ever was an Apostle John Eckhart. I'm just being honest. I'm not hating. I'm just telling you. But yet he's still underground. His name is Frank E. Peretti. The book is called Piercing the Darkness. And in that book it tells, you know, I'm giving an example. You ever go into a city or a state and in some states and some cities you feel like, oh my God, it's so beautiful here. It's so peaceful here. That is where the saints are praying. The saints run that city or that state or that town because the prayers are coming up into the throne of God. Now, there are other city states that you go to and it's, it's like an oppression. It's like heavy depression. And that's because the, the sacred witches and warlocks are actually winning. The demons, the demonic realm is winning. So what he was saying is that this is really a spiritual war, even though you're in the flesh. We're not praying enough. Come on, somebody. The body of Christ, you're so busy looking good instead of being good. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me go ahead and tell you what's going on right here. Everybody want to market themselves. Everybody want to brand themselves. Building up their mini kingdom. Their mini empires. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Instead of building the kingdom of God. Come on, somebody. You ain't got no kingdom. There's only two kingdoms. The kingdom of God and the kingdom of the devil. Hallelujah. What's one you're with? Hallelujah. Because guess what? The line is getting drawn in the sand at this moment. And guess what? We see you. We see who you really represent. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. There's no reason that the body of Christ should be in the shape it's in. With the technology that we have, with the gifts that we have, with the money that we have, with the resources that we have, with the worship that we have. But the reason, because it's not holy. You're tainted. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You're tainted. And the reason why you're tainted is because you don't want to be holy. What am I saying? You rather appease the flesh then sacrifice the flesh. This is sacrificial. And ain't nobody want to sacrifice nothing no more because you're selfish, because you're trying to build yourself up instead of the kingdom of God. And now people dying. And I'm telling you, the blood is on all our hands. And I say all because God look at us as the body of Christ, not just that one and this one. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So during this month, I'm telling you, things are getting ready to shift like never before. Now there's going to be two shifts. One to where things are getting ready to happen, martial law, FEMA camps, Holocaust, another one, greater than the Jews, greater than what we've ever experienced. You don't hear me. Y'all too busy living your life, thinking it's a game. 
Then another shift is coming. I'm telling you what God said. Through all that pain, there's going people. There's going to be people that's going to repent and they're going to come to God. Through all that pain, people are going to start working the supernatural, the dunamis power that we have not seen. Come on, somebody, let's be real. Let's be real. And I'm not talking about these fake miracles. Go ahead with that. I'm not talking about those that you're manifesting, which is witchcraft and lies. I'm talking about some real power. God is raising up a generation. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. That's going to raise the dead. That's not going to compromise. That's going to go to your leaders and tell you in your face you're a liar, which you are. Oh, come on, somebody. Don't get mad at me. I'm just the messenger. God is raising up a people. You're not going to baby them. Pay them off. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God is raising up a people with power. You see, you did good the last 30 years. Oh, come on, somebody. The last generation, you did well. You let us learn the word. You worked the word. But what you did not do is teach God's people the power of God. And that's why they don't see it like they should see it. Because half of them don't believe in it. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. Y'all think this is an entertainment thing. Y'all think this is a show. This is a sacrifice. And when God sees that you have a real heart and a pure heart, he allowed the anointing to come upon you. And that is when you're going to see miracle signs and wonders. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you how you're really going to get it. In the secret places. See that little stuff y'all doing out in the limelight? Wanting everybody to see y'all for likes and everything on Facebook? They ain't going to cut it when this stuff happen. Only the authentic anointing is going to be able to shatter through what's getting ready to happen. Because this is pure evil we're talking about. You think you've seen evil. You think you've seen death. You think you've seen stuff. Y'all ain't seen nothing. What God is getting ready to allow. And it breaks my heart. Because he has to allow it to happen. Because America has forgotten his, their God. They've forgotten their God. They think they're gods. As a matter of fact, that's what y'all say. In, in Hollywood to Wollywood. That's what y'all do. Y'all say we're goddesses and goddesses. We have an empire. Oh, hallelujah. Y'all better get together, church. This is the time to wake up. Wake up and you better wake up fast. Because about the time, it's coming. Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Hallelujah.